excitement over therapy with stem cells in the last few years. In fact, many people are leaving this country to receive treatment for a number of disorders. Well, fortunately for all of us, investigational stem cell therapy is available right here in North Texas. And Dr. Bill Johnson of Innovations Medical here this morning to tell us all about it. Good to see Good you. Good morning. So this is exciting. Why is there so much interest in stem cell therapy? Well, the reason there's so much interest in stem cells is stem cells really do most of the healing that we do in our bodies. We can kind of use cutting our fingers a good illustration. Okay. When we cut our finger, what happens is the damaged cells release certain chemical messengers called growth factors. Those call in cells to clean up the damage and then after the damage is cleaned up, the, it call, they call in stem cells that then come and look around and they become the new cells that we need to replace the skin cells that were killed. Okay. So the actual healing is done by the stem cells. And that same basic process is true if you injure bone, if you injure muscle, any tissue that we are injuring and healing, stem cells are, are the, really the main driving force, the main thing that's doing the healing. It's exciting. The possibilities really are endless. Let's back up a second, though. How do you get the stem cells? Well, what we're doing is called autologous stem cell investigations. And okay. what autologous is real important because these cells come from you. So if we're going to do treatment on you, uh -huh. we'd use your stem cells. Okay. And we get that from taking a little bit of your fat okay. and about three tablespoons. And we process that, and out of that, we get 50 to 100 million stem cells and a large number of growth factors. It takes about two hours to do the processing. So we actually do the harvesting or getting of the cells and the deployment or use of the cells uh, all in the same day. That's fascinating. What, what kind of problems or ailments would you say are you investigating the use of SBF? Well, one of the ones that's been done the very most are people with uh, osteoarthritis or degenerative arthritis, okay. like folks uh, that have been told they need a knee replacement or hip replacement or shoulder surgery have been doing really well with this treatment. So that's one of our main areas. What about other types of arthritis? Yeah, we're doing a lot of work with some of the inflammatory arthritis like rheumatoid arthritis and ankylosing spondylitis. We're doing work with Crohn's disease and psoriatic arthritis. So all of the inflammatory disorders have good protocols and we're doing work with them. Yeah, we're seeing some of the things that you are using it to treat yeah, right we, there. We, have, we are working with Investigational Review Board, okay. which means we have a, an oversight committee that approves all of the protocols that we do to make sure that what we're doing is safe and does no harm. So we have pro, we have Investigative Review Board protocols for chronic lung disease, COPD. We've been mm -hmm. doing a lot of COPD patients. For Parkinson's disease, for multiple sclerosis, for neuropathies, pa uh, patients both with painful neuropathies and uh, non-painful neuropathies that make them weak or difficulty walking. We're doing uh, some work with uh, urologic disorders like interstitial cystitis and erectile dysfunction. Mm -hmm. Seen some real response with all of, with those types of disorders. Really a broad spectrum of ailments there to treat. What about cost though? Some people have to be wondering about that. And, and that's a really important issue because this is not covered by insurance. Okay. This is this is completely outside of the insurance world because it is investigational. Right. And we don't have a big grant from the National Institute of Health or anyone else. So we're, we're funding it as we go, which means we have to have money from the patients to fund it. So there is a charge involved and it's not cheap. Okay, how can viewers really quickly join in on the effort? Well, the, the best way to find out is to go to, go, go to our website, Innovations Medical, Innovation Stem Cell Center .com. Good to know. They can go there and learn really all about the process. All right. Good to see you. Thanks so much. And you you can learn more about stem cell therapy by visiting the Innovations Medical website at innovationsmedical.com. And you can also view out more detailed segments on Dr. J off air on the website or YouTube. And you can set up a free consultation in Dallas by calling 214-420-7970 or Fort Worth. That number is 817-744-7904. And we're right back after a short break.